U.S. economy is dealing with three major strikes, but it appears some progress is being made. One group might soon be ready for lights, camera, action, while another group might start pumping the brakes on their standoff. More than 75,000 Kaiser Permanente employees are back on the picket line in California, Colorado, Oregon, and Washington State. The union coalition is demanding better pay and benefits as well as better staffing. The Kaiser Permanente strike is set to end tomorrow, but union officials say a longer strike could happen in November if a deal hasn't been made by then. Meanwhile, the United Auto Workers are still driving forward since it began last month. I think we're at a point where it's a lose-lose. Now it's just a matter of how much does everybody want to lose. General Motors says it made a counteroffer to the UAW's most recent proposal, adding in a statement that it's, quote, ready and willing to negotiate in good faith 24-7 to reach an agreement. And SAG-AFTRA still on the picket lines. In a joint statement with the Alliance of Motion Picture and Television Producers Wednesday, the union announced that talks will restart today. The two sides are also expected to work over the weekend and keep going on Monday.